Good morning, legends. Go ahead and stand up. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now take a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good, Good morning, morning Northside. Northside. I'm Julian Johnson, the Student Council President here at Northside. And I'm Student Council Vice President Pax Jacobs. And this, and this is, is your Student, student Council, Council update. update. So Julian, what is Student Council? Well, Student Council is a collection of students that represents the student body. From the words of our last Student Council President, the purpose of Student Council is to improve the vast culture of school spirit at Northside High School through the implementation of new oral traditions and to build leadership skills for the future. There are many different roles and positions in Student Council. Additionally, all council members are held to high academic and personal character standards. So, what exactly does our Student Council do to improve Northside's culture? Well, over the last few years, Student Council has created programs and hosted a wide variety of events intending to improve school spirit and the overall culture here at Northside. We've hosted carnivals and tailgates type up our students' section before a big game, We've hosted friendly tournaments that allow students to have friendly competition with their peers. We've created study programs for students who need help or want to succeed in their studies. We've created a thrift store for students in need of basic clothing or for students who want a new thrifty outfit. We've, we've hosted art nights where students can show their artwork in an inclusive environment. Finally, we make homecoming success. Sounds great. How can someone join Student Council? It's easy. Email Mr. Schleter or come see him in room D304 and you can discuss your interest in joining. Speaking of fun events, homecoming is around the corner. Do we know which dress-up theme won this year? As a matter of fact, we do. The results are in, and Seasonally Timeless is the winner. We will dress up as these themes during each day of homecoming week. Let's dress up and show our school spirit. Stay tuned for more Student Council updates next week. Until, Until then, then, stay, stay legendary. legendary. Greetings, noble esteemed ones. Welcome to Northside Television. Yo, check out the freshest drop of the Weekly Northerners hype for August 30th, Friday, 2024. Let's get it. Northside Esports crew still hunting for some commentators to get hype on the Twitch streams. If you got that raise, hit up Mr. Stanley and D219 at 2.30. Let's get this Grimace Shake energy, fam. Also, if you think new segments would benefit the Northerner, leave a suggestion in the Google form. Just scan the QR code you see on screen. Want to peep the vibe of the creative writing squad at Northside? Pull up for the call-out meeting after school on Tuesday, September 3rd at the Media Zone. Hit up Ms. Graham for the 411. Wrestling hype train rolling today. Squad hitting the iron at 340. If you're about that life, pull up to the small gym to get it cracking. Questions? Holler at Coach Hershey or Coach Knox. They got the riz. Yo, Iron Legends robot crew on that twice a week grind. Tuesdays and Fridays, straight after school in H111. Slide into Mr. Fisher's spot in F209 to get in on this epicness, or just hop on the team. Anyone interested in running for the boys' cost country team this season can see Coach High Niger in room F303 for more information and to sign up. Yo! The United Flag football crew is still hunting for lads and ladies to assemble this season. Practices on deck after school, three days a week, Monday to Wednesday, 2.30 to 3.30. Pull up in Coach Hershey's spot, A144. Be there or be Ohio. Yo, check it. All homebrays trying to run cross country. Hit up Coach Heinegger in F303. Ladies who missed a call out on this wave, swing by the Athletic HQ or catch Coach Walker post school in B305 for the 411 or to lock in your spot. <laughs> Let, 
Let's get Grimace Shake vibes. Mock trial squad is throwing down a hype meet in, the week, in a week or so. It's going down after school on Wednesday, September 11th. From 2.30 to 3 and B207 with Miss Heishman. We're vibing to grow this crew. If you're a true grinder, want to be a lit lawyer or a witness, get ready to dive into a courtroom battle. It's going to be a wild ride. Everyone's having a go. Hit up Miss Heishman and B207 if you're curious. No cap. I peep this weather vibe check. Tonight's foresight in the next couple of days got you covered. No cap. This evening, wild pulses of rain and thunder going full skivity mode as they roll through the into the Friday night. Prepare for mythical winds and epic drenching. No cap. They might just pull up. It's definitely goofy ah weather. Saturday morning, slightly wet, but then it's all sunshine vibes. Clouds dip and temps flex in the low 80s. <laughs> Let's go. Sunday's vibes got sunshine on lock, sizzling in the low 80s. Then Labor Day slides in, dropping temps like a grimace shake to the mid 70s. With cooler air, W weather. And now for your Legends Sports update. Yo, tonight is going to be epic. The Northside Legends football team are in the spotlight for their first bash of the season against the Lawrence North Wildcats. Kick off at Chambers Field, going to pop off at 7 p.m., slap down seven bucks for the ticks, pull up and flex your support for your fellow Legends. Congratulations to the girls cross country team for winning the team championship at this past weekend's seven team Bill Walker Invitational at Southside. The team was led by senior Nori Silva, Gazelle Klein, and Annabelle Cervantes, who individually placed second, third, and fourth, respectfully, in the race. Savannah Bender and Annabelle Muncie rounded out the scoring for the Lady Legends. Tomorrow morning, the boys and girls cross country teams will travel north to DeKalb for their next meet. The race begins at 9.30. Good luck, Legends! Yo, tomorrow morning, the girls' soccer crew is going to throw down against Wayne after that Tuesday heat wave pushed things back. Kickoff is at 10 a.m. at Chambers Field. Let's go! And the JV football squad is zooming to Indy to take on Lawrence North at 11. Here's the lowdown on Northside Athletics coming in hot. Real quick, Miss Graham hits up the media hub, spilling the 3D ET, admin vibes, the ultimate staff 101 on deck, 05 flavors coming in hot, tag jokes on fleek, and we're just getting started. <sighs> okay, so we are here at Northside High School, and who do we have here today? My name is Andrew Klein, I'm the athletic director. Okay, so how does it feel to be the athletic director of Northside High School? Well, you, you know, uh, it feels pretty good. Um, I went to high school at Northside from 1998 and graduated from 2002. Uh, and so to be back here in the building uh, is an amazing thing. Now, I'm, I'm kind of doing something uh, special today. You know, a, a lot of people, when I tell them I'm the athletic director, they, they kind of have an idea about what, uh, what that means. Um, but, but I don't think everyone understands exactly uh, what an athletic director does and, and how much work goes into making sure that athletics run smoothly all year long. And, and at Northside, you know, we have 25 different sports. Uh, that's 25 different schedules, officials for all of those sports, white buses, yellow buses, uh, you know, buses getting canceled. You know, we have an excessive heat warning today. So girls soccer got canceled today. So now, you know, that 
that game has to change. Officials have to be informed. Workers have to be informed. And, and so there's a lot of work that goes into that. Now, today I'm also kind of dressed down a little bit because I'm doing something uh, extra special. We just had a brand new facility uh, laid down here at Chambers Field. And uh, one of the things that I'm doing today is actually power washing our bleachers. Um, you know, they haven't been power washed for quite some time. And, uh, you know, when, when I knew we were getting this brand new turf field, uh, you know, I want us to go into our very first home uh, football game uh, looking good, feeling good, and, and ready to, um, you know, show the city, uh, first off, what Northside football is all about, and second, uh, the kind of host that Northside can be. If you are a junior or senior and are thinking about attending college, you might consider signing up for a college representative visit. Representatives from various colleges and universities visit Northside each fall to meet with students who are interested in learning more about their schools. We have a variety of schools already signed up to visit small private colleges, big universities, technical colleges, and more. To sign up, you will first need to sign into Naviance. Once signed in, click on the Colleges tab. Then select College Visits under the Research Colleges section. Once on the College Visits page, you will see a list of colleges already signed up to visit Northside. Pay close attention to the date and time of the visits you sign up for. You will receive a pass the day of the visit excusing you from class. You are responsible for any missed assignments. Schools will continue to schedule visits throughout the first semester, so make sure you are regularly checking the list. Hi guys, welcome back to A Media Moment with Ms. Graham. Um, as you know, freshmen, welcome to the school. My name is Miss Graham and you guys got to meet me last week. You'll be coming to the Media Center every other week from here on out. That's the same with all of the other classes, but I specifically wanted to talk to our freshmen. Um, don't forget, the Media Center is a place of kindness and responsibility. Since it is a privilege and not a right to come to the Media Center, make certain that you're bringing those two qualities with you when you come in so that you can stay. with 3DE Year 3 at Northside. Today we are launching our first case study with 10th grade students. They are hearing about Freddie Mac, but more importantly, they are working on effective collaboration and promoting resolution. So in just a minute, you're gonna get to see what is happening in the launch room. And let me just say, they are rocking launch. We cannot wait to see what they have to show us at the culminating event next Friday, September 6th. Hey, Mr. Cook, I hear that this year you have jumped from 9th to 10th grade. How do you feel about being a 10th grade launch teacher? Yeah, I got uh, got promoted to 10th uh, grade now. Um, it's, it's a really good feeling because I get to continue on with the students that I was with last year. Um, so I got to see the growth from the uh, beginning of last school year up until the end of last school year. And now I get to continue with them and continue watching their growth and their maturation and their comfortability. Um, and then building on the skills that, that they were um, uh, learning throughout their freshman year and watching them build upon it this year. How are you feeling about 10th grade 3DE? Anybody have any initial thoughts? I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Here, can you say that right here? I think it's pretty cool. And I think it'll be a lot better since we know what we're doing this year than last year. Hey, Rocky, I was just wondering, um, what have you learned today in your launch? We've been, we've been learning about Freddie Mac and about our competency for this case challenge, which is your case study, which is connected to collaboration. 
Gotcha. And is this your team here? Yep. Excellent. Nice to meet you, team. Hi, nice to meet you. Are you going to win this case challenge? Oh, yeah. Case study? Uh, Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, awesome. What house are you? Mickey. Oh, I have heard from Mr. Cook that Mickey is going to take gold all six times. Oh, yeah. Ask, how do you feel about 3DE second year? Oh, yeah. This is my first year. This is my first year. Welcome back to Staff 101. Today we're here with Mr. Fisher. Mr. Fisher, we're going to ask you a couple of questions today. How did you end up here at Northside? Uh, Elmhurst closed. <laughs> okay. Elmhurst. Elmhurst, Elmhurst closed, and uh, during that time period, they uh, let go uh, teachers from Southside, um, Northrop, and Wayne and north side and those schools had to rehire all their teachers and i ended up here because mr hisong was the principal out at elmhurst and he basically brought almost all his elmhurst uh, teachers here with him at north side <laughs> so it's kind of cool so how long were you there i was there for 12 years what do you teach here what do you teach here? um this year well my whole career here i started out teaching earth space science I did that for the first, um, got to think about this for a minute. I did that for the first nine years. The last six years I've been teaching like biology and ICP. Uh, now I teach uh, anatomy, uh, principles of biomedical and medical intervention. And what got you into that like, field of study, teaching? I'm a science nerd. <laughs> um, I actually have a degree in biology and pre-dental. I'm actually a crown bridge and partial denture specialist. I did that for eight years in the dental laboratory before coming into teaching. Besides, okay, besides teaching, uh, what else? I do kids surviving oh. cancer. I'm Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, I've been doing that for the last 14 years. It's coming to year 15. So. We have about 26 kids, that, 26 families that come to Kids of Iron Cancer, somewhere in the neighborhood, about 69 kids. And we give them all gifts and tr uh, books, and uh, we feed them for the day and do uh, little skits for them and play games with them. And uh, I'm looking for volunteers, so if you're interested, please see me in F209. I also do robotics. So if you're interested in robotics, I do first robotics. It's a really great sport. I don't call it a team. I don't call it a club. I call it a career because you'll have uh, businesses looking at you through the four years you do it, and you may have a job right out of high school doing something with robotics. All right, well, thank you. Staff 101 signing off. Goodbye. <laughs>
we should have got some sweet, crazy dough. That would have been that would have been pretty good. Everything on the menu is premium. Specialty pizzas, all kinds of specialty pizzas. You would get a deep dish. I never had a deep dish. Same barbecues would be great. And then, could you please uh, put like two forks in there as well? Thank you so yeah, much. we're gonna split the Hindenburg. We thought one a piece would have been too much for lunch. That'd be great too if you give us both. Yeah. Well, we don't have knives, that's why I asked. Uh, well, we'll we'll, a, we'll pick it apart. No, we don't. We don't want it falling out. Excellent. Thank you so much. What's that? No, I'm good. Tell you what, though, how much? How much are your cokes? No. Nah. I was just testing. I was just making it so you can buy a soda for a dollar there. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good deal. We're trying to cut down on how much soda we drink. And you are? Jesse. Jesse. So you guys, you can come see Jesse at Lexi's Pizza. Yep, here all the time. And what, what are you guys' hours? Uh, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. You guys, you guys do DoorDash and those things? And no, we used to, but not anymore. No more DoorDash. You got to come to Lexi's to get your pizza. Oh, I think that's fabulous. But hey, you know it. It is what it is. Any, any one of the sausage rolls, or like I said, uh, Legends, the original pepperoni, you'll, you'll be in love. I'll, first, first bite. Yeah, love it. That was popular. Well, oh, Andrew is okay. sold on pepperoni, but I'm going to switch him to being a sausage roll no, person. No, no. I, I told you, we'd mow lawns until we had enough to buy two sausage rolls, one for each of us. Oh, I, I, would, I, I was listening, but not hearing. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Boy, you can smell that sausage roll as soon as we walked in. And right here on the corner, you got to, you could probably even go and get some fresh salad from the natural grocery right there. Someday we'll have to go to the natural grocery and check it out. All right. So we, we were having a lunch smorgasbord here, right? Yeah. We just got back from Lexi's pizza. And while it's one of my personal favorites, this particular sausage roll is called a Hindenburg, and I've never had one before. Yes, so I'm really excited about it. Well, it's, it has some really, you know, you're, you can get just a sausage roll with sausage and cheese, but this actually has pepperonis on it. Right? Yep, it you looks like pepperoni. What else you got? It looks like olives, olives. green peppers, green pe onions. Oh, it's got I a, see some mushrooms it's like in there. A, oh, it's like yeah. a salad. It's like a salad in a, in a sausage roll. Yeah, you got to dip it in the... Yeah, I'm gonna the barbecue do the first, sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna do the first bite without barbecue and second <clears throat> one with. Okay, I'm, I'm. See, this is this is what I get when I go to Lexi's, and I go to Lexi's often. That is fabulous. Told I you, know. I told you it was good. It is really it is good. An orchestra in my mouth right now that would make Aaron King, uh, you know, happy. Right. Like, right. Wow. Um, this is this is a good. It's a good sausage, sausage roll. roll. Yeah. And it's not, it's got, you know, enough, it's not like sometimes you get a sausage roll and it's either too doughy or mm -hmm. it's like cardboard dough. Oh, yeah. I mean, Lexi's has been making, uh, you know, these sausage rolls for 40, and that's 50 years. That's cooked to perfection, it's, man. Look oh, at it. It's really like, is. you mean, you want a little bit of, but I think the barbecue sauce with it is. Oh, that is good. I told you. Yeah. I told you it was good. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to try some of mine and. See where we're at. See, I, I'm a little different, Andrew. Like, I'd like to eat mine where I, I don't know. I'd like to, I like to pick it apart a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to eat, uh, eat sort of, oh, uh, no, it's good. I like I like eating the stuff from the inside first. Okay. That's the inside of my Hindenburg. I don't think you can beat the Hindenburg. Okay, that's all I could eat. I am stuffed. And I only ate half. You ate all of yours, Andrew. You only I, I got a little, bit of, a little bit of crust left. Yeah, yeah. That's just the little top knot, um, you know, which which is good. I ate most of it, but, uh, you know, just ran out of uh, have you been? Have cheese. you been, you know, <clears throat> you know, your mind changed to you about the quality of the sausage roll there, the Hindenburg versus the regular sausage roll? Oh, I, I would get the Hindenburg again. Hindenburg. That, that, Hindenburg. that I, taste and flavor, like I said, it, it, 
it was complex. I mean, there were there were all sorts of flavors in my mouth. Right. And, and just think, you had, you have lived in the 05. You grew up in the 05. Went to Lexi's many times, but you never got the Hindenburg. No, no. I, I always got the original sausage just roll. Just plain sausage roll. You have broadened your horizons today. They most certainly have. And hopefully uh, you do too, legends. Yep. Well, that is going to be the windup for our Tasty 05. Last look at the Hindenburg. Have a great day, Northside. All right, good morning. I'm here with Leah Fear and Miss Witt. We're here for the dad jokes. Dad jokes, even though we're moms. Mom yeah. jokes. Mom jokes. <laughs> All right, what do you call a dog that can do magic? Mm. I don't know. Labracadabrador. <laughs> How do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie in it. You put a little boogie <laughs> in it. I'm good with that one. <laughs> what do porcupines say when they kiss? Stick around. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. What did the duck say when he bought lip balm? The duck say when he bought li lip balm? Yes. Mm. Put it on my bill. <laughs> <laughs> and why don't seagulls fly over the bay? Because then there would be bagels. Well, then they would be bagels. <laughs> yes. That's all I got. That's it? That's all, all right. Big up for locking in. That's a wrap for this week's Northern Revives. <laughs> Yo, legends, have a banger day. Monday equals no school Labor Day vibes. Catch you next week. Stay lit.